<laughs> Here we are, folks, October the 23rd. We've been over here hunting for a few days in Walla Walla. I missed the doe, and Aubrey hasn't got a chance to shoot yet, so I'll be in our doe hunting, and lo and behold, Eric comes out, gets a day off, and comes up here and shoots a buck with the first couple hours of daylight. <laughs> <laughs> so Eric is going to show you his gutting technique. You do it different than I do. You start at a I, I cut the balls off first. Yeah. Yep. And then I just grab the pecker and skin it all the way down to the anus. And then, uh... Soft. They're soft. Yeah. Any ticks on there? Probably. Well, it's kind of cold for ticks. I'm not sure. Connie's deer had some ticks on it. Not a lot. Well, they all have something on them. <laughs> That's why I don't want to lay on them or something. People on YouTube are going to be judging his, <laughs> yeah. judging his technique of, oh, why is he doing it that way? No. He's getting like a noob. Everybody's got their own little way of doing it. <coughs> Eric's no stranger to getting deer out. Oh, I heard a buck snort. There might be another one. Arby, get your gun ready. Hey, we heard some snorting down in that, yeah, we that did. spot down there. Well, that's why we're, we were kind of like a little reluctant to leave, but we wanted to go see where we were at. So the backstory on this is uh, we hunted uh, behind uh, Mr. Green's house, and it's got a really, really steep hillside here. What you see in the background is some of the most moderate hills, but oh, so. I, may, I made it up to the first fence line. I was overheating and out of breath, so Aubrey and Eric went on up ahead. I didn't want to slow them down. So they came up here and sat on a spot. And uh, once I uh, got cooled down and got my wind again, I, I plotted up the hill to, to join them. I just got below this big brush pile here. There's a bunch of apples and brush here and good deer food. And I saw Eric appear on the opposite side of the canyon here. And uh, he kind of waved and pointed up the hill. He spotted this buck up there. And apparently, when I came up to the bottom of this brush pile here, the buck saw me. He was sneaking away from me, didn't see Eric, and Eric one shot kapowed it, took full advantage. He started rolling down the hill too. <laughs> that deer's going to be rolling a lot of the way down this hill. <laughs> I know. And then a spike came up too, I thought it was a doe, and I pulled the scope up at them, so a little, little, little if, if it was a doe, do you think you could have got a shot at it? Yeah, it was pretty close range. Standing still, and we're relatively close. I think he was really dumb. He's just walking towards us. And <laughs> I think that's why they don't let you kill spikes. They're so dumb. Yeah. You know, give them a chance to get some smarts. <clears throat> that's the only deer I can kill anymore. The only ones that are dumb enough for me for me to catch. <laughs> they even got the T-shirt to prove it. The Spoon and Crockpot Club, <laughs> killing tomorrow's trophies today. <laughs> Those spikes are tender. This would probably be old and gnarly, tough. Oh, yeah. Even the heart and liver, I don't think you want any. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we got some cod flays for later. It's from frozen fish flawed thought out for you, Dad. Well, you know me. If I go to a restaurant, I eat, <coughs> I'll eat fish 100% of the time rather than red meat. I just love my fish, as your wife does. Yeah. Hey, Robert, why don't you hold this leg up? <clears throat> You're learning the... Helper stuff. Yeah, helps are really cool. This will be the first gutting job on Don's rookie videos. I hope no one takes any lessons from it. I just get in there and start hacking. I'm not much of a gutter. Well, the hard part is cutting around the butt for me. Yeah. I, I cut around the butt and up as far as you can reach up in there so that all that pulls out from the inside. 
Some guys just cut it off, you know, tie it off and cut it off. But yep. I like to do it. Uh, certain finesse points, points of pride along the way to just to do it the right way. Eric's young and strong. He won't have any trouble dragging this critter downhill half a mile. <coughs> I'm glad it's uphill too. They just drag it. I don't mind hiking in downhill. It means we got an easy drag downhill. Hiking in uphill. Yep. We still have to carry it probably through the water. Get across the creek, okay. What do you mean we? Me and Dad. I, I mean that. <laughs> Not the royal we, I, because kings yeah. use them, speak of themselves in the plural. Oh. We will get it across the creek, okay? Well, I avoided a heart attack so far getting up this hill. You don't want to have to drag me across the creek, oh, too, God. do you? <clears throat> oh, man, I was sure I'd get a get to get to start picking which guns I inherit off you if I drag you up <laughs> a steep enough incline. <laughs> well. Maybe next year. I probably don't have any guns that you want. Maybe Dad's 338 if you really wanted to hunt uh, some really big game sometime. Be good for elk for sure, but hot sex is plenty for elk as well. Well, yeah, if we're going that route, the only the only gun I care about is your Winchester 70 because I killed my first buck with that. And your second. And my second. That one's just special is all. That's the only sentimental value. Some. Yeah. Oh, is that for like I don't tissue? <clears throat> It looks like you're reaching in there for a calf or something. <laughs> a little calf pulling. Push. Calf pulling. Need some forceps? <laughs> <coughs> Hoping ain't got blue tongue. I'll have to put a disclaimer on this video for, for the sissies not to watch it. Sissy, no sissies or vegans or PETA people. Why would they be watching they Hudson watch videos anyway? Oh, well, they probably wouldn't, but you know, they like. I think that should be on every video. Ugh, it's this season. There's enough hunting videos out. The, uh, the PETA people probably don't do cancel culture on hunters yet. Yep. The old, old rule of thumb, one shot, one kill. Two shots, maybe a kill. Three shots, no deer. But it's, I'm going to do a brief scan of the pretty country here for the viewing audience. Show them how pretty this is over here. Up in the hills above Walla Walla. <laughs> Beautiful country. Really starting to like it. Cut into a gut. You did? But it's, did you cut the esophagus yet? No. Probably best just to leave that sternum intact because it's going to get dirty on the way down, huh? Killing them is one thing, but <laughs> gutting them. <laughs> Hard enough to kill them, and then that's when the work starts. And then skinning them and butchering. And, and eating. Oh, eating is the easy part. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Better that than cutting your damn hand. Their heart are pretty big. Hard to... Got a lot of heart. Yeah. Mike shot his elk right in the heart, but I, uh, we were going to toss it, and I was looking at it, and I remembered that, well, heart doesn't really get bloodshot like if you shoot him in the shoulder. So we saved, we saved the heart, and we got back to camp, and I cleaned it up and cut out all the, the tendons and stuff in there and the fat, and uh, we had it for breakfast the next morning. It was wonderful. Mike said he never had heart so good. Uh -huh. I think part of the key of the heart is the way you trim it, because there's a lot of fibrous stuff in there. You need to cut that off. Don't cut into that spleen. <coughs> Did you see the Stephen Rainella video where he uh, he said that uh, the Indians and the mountain men <coughs> used to use the spleen for uh, seasoning? On their liver. I haven't seen it. So he was down uh, hunting uh, bison in uh, in Mexico. He killed a he killed one and he, he he cut the spleen and cut off a piece of liver and cut the spleen open and dribble some of that green spleen juice onto the meat. Ew. <laughs> That's what that was the look on his face when after he tried it. He 
<laughs> oh, that is vile. <laughs> of course it's vile. <laughs> go slow. Nice and steady. Well, I'll be carrying all Dad's gear and he's just dragging a deer down. He's, he got the easy job just dragging it down. Gravity's helping him. I'm carrying these two rifles on my back. Well, you think it's so easy. Maybe you should do it. I know. All right, let's go. Hey, Aubrey, I can't film with you in the way. Why don't you go out front? Oh, you want to walk up ahead of me? Half a mile to go, but it's all downhill. Oh, this is a steep side hill. I have trouble even walking on it. I might just not side hill so much. Take it all the way down there to the creek, down there straight down. There's a lot of stickers down there. Looks that part looks pretty easy. When you're going uphill, no. A little heavier going uphill? Huh? Is it heavier getting uphill? Yeah. Going uphill? I must be tired. <laughs> hey. hey, time up to them goats, let them drag it up there for you. Yeah. All right, Abby. See if you can drag that little bugger. There you go. Good job. <laughs> you done? Yep. <laughs> oh, God. Hurry, you got to take my pack then. If I'm, you're not going to do any dragging. All right. That's all that matters. <laughs>